Hello everyone, this is Sharon again, and I'm back. I wanted to follow up on the last video in which the chemotherapy, the Taxol did not work, and um, tell you where I am now. So what happened, I last told you that my biopsy from my lymph nodes did show that there is definitely cancer in them, and they are now at MD Anderson, in which we're waiting. Um, we were thinking about three to four weeks to get results so it will take a while during that time I was going to take a chemo break a break from chemotherapy for about three to four weeks until we decided if I wanted to do the doxel so Dr. Smith was concerned that I would not be able to do the doxel because the protocol is after uh, a patient has had six lines of chemotherapy normally there's nothing else to offer them and I I, I believe I, I will have to ask and really confirm that for sure but I believe it's because after a certain point the chemotherapy begins to do more harm than good meaning damage to your organs creating possibly organ failure all sorts of nasty things can begin to develop as a result of using chemotherapy which is nothing but a very caustic, poisonous form of therapy, but it's the only one and the best one we have right now that works. So, that's what we were going to do. Now, let me tell you what the cancer said. This past Monday, I began running a low-grade fever of about 100.9. It never got above 100.9. I don't usually run fevers and it just kind of, I had chills and then I was hot, chills and hot. I just don't ever experience that too much, but besides cancer, I'm fairly healthy. So what happened was Tuesday is what caught my attention. That was Monday. Tuesday I was still running that low grade fever, however, do you see, if you can see really close, let me move this up and I'll get if you can see that knot, that's a definite knot right there. See that knot? Right there by this piece of tissue right here, that's the knot. It was a little larger than this just the other day. Tuesday, the knot appeared and it kept getting bigger and bigger. By Wednesday, when I called the doctor and told her what I was experiencing, her nurse said, get in here we are going to do some scans because I had not only developed a fever, I was producing a little phlegm, not a lot, but what had come out was a little discolored, plus the fever. She wanted to make sure I didn't have pneumonia, and so we performed x-rays on my lungs, and when I got there, everything was fine with the x-rays. She then decided to send me across the way to Texas Oncology Radiation, and uh, to see Dr. Juke and uh, they began scanning my body for the type of fittings and forms that I'll need to receive radiation. So they decided to radiate this lump and I really swear it has gone down tremendously because when I went in Wednesday it was almost the size of a 50 cent piece. It was huge and it was painful. And if you recall this little lymph node was one of the little ones that's right in the place to where we saw it on the skin, but it was so little and it was undisturbed. It hadn't, it hadn't grown or anything, but we knew it was there. This is what happened in a matter of two days. So thanks to my oncologist, her nurse, I got in there, I got treated. I went in Friday, this past Friday, for two separate treatments of radiation. So it was a very long pulse. And then I had an hour, hours after that first treatment. And then I went back. So at 8.30, I went in, got my treatment, left. And by 3.40, I went back in and got my second treatment. I'm going to have a total of eight treatments to zap this away. It already feels better. And I'm so blessed that I have this wonderful team of doctors. And folks, let me tell you this, that's so important. Make sure you have the specialist that you need in your life for the type of cancer that you're fighting. Uh, make sure they're the type of people that listen to you. 
um, that understand what you're asking and that care because I know I'm nearing the end and life is just too precious folks it's so precious I'm fighting for my life because it's just that beautiful and it's that worth fighting for. I want you all to please take care of yourself that you can enjoy life. I'm trying to be as gracious as I can going through this, but it's a hard thing to face one's mortality. And you start getting tired and you start getting weak. Um, all kind of things creep in that you normally would not let happen before. But thanks to you all who keep saying, Sharon, we care, let us know what's happening. That's what really got me up off of my tushy and back on here to post and help a lot of people. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's where I am right now. So next week I will have radiation once a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday of next week, I will have two treatments again. That will get my eight treatments of radiation in. And then on the 30th, I will begin my first round of Doxil, D-O-X-I-L. So that's where I am. I hope it works, folks. I'm terrified, and uh, but I'm going to be strong through this. You all take care. I love you and have a great day. Bye-bye now.